Hey leaders, this video is for our kindergarten and first grade team for the fifth week of June. So this is our final week of June, but really our summer is all kind of clumped into one. We're talking about the fruit of the spirit all summer long and how it helps us to power up. So all month long, all summer long, we're talking about what a life app is, which is what God is doing in you to change the world around you. And so far this summer, we've learned about um, love, joy, peace, and patience. And this week, we're learning about kindness. And our story is the Good Samaritan, and our bottom line is be kind to everyone. So a great bottom line, um, obviously very applicable for our kids. So um, these are our memory verse cards for June. There are new ones for July, so make sure any that are left in your cart this week, go ahead and pass them out to kids. They can still say that this memory verse at the store next week um, on the 14th to earn a ticket. But the memory verse for June was the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit the Holy Spirit produces is love, joy, and peace. It is being patient, kind, and good. It is being faithful and gentle and having control of oneself. And then we do have our car ride conversations to hand out for week five. So jumping into our leader guide, we'd love for you to, oh, this is not on here, probably because it's week five, so it's all jacked up. But we'd love for you to join us in the garage door room at 820 and 1020 for coffee and donuts and just to pray with each other. And then um, just be in your small groups by 830 and 1030. Sorry, I have Lola on a chair behind me, so I'm... Can you get down and play with the dolls for just a second? Okay. So, um, when kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, all you need is a ball for your small group, and you're going to welcome the kids, make sure you know everybody's name, and then have them sit in a circle, and you can hand the ball to one kid and have them roll it to another and say, um, hello, Katie, I'm glad you're here. And then that kid rolls it to another kid and gives the same greeting. And then when everyone has received the ball... Um, challenge kids to rewind and try to go in reverse order and see. So whoever sent it to them, they're going to send it back to that person. So then when service starts at 9 and 11, little intro activity, you're going to have band-aids on your cart. And you can do this like all of the kindergartners together, all of the first graders together in the room. Um, but you're going to divide your group into teams of three. And then you're going to have the teams line up on one wall. And you're going to set like six to nine bandages. So if, if they have two people on their team, you'll put six band-aids. If they have three people on their team, you'll put nine band-aids um, on the opposite wall. And at your signal, the first kid is going to bear walk. So that's up on their hands and their feet to the band-aid. Unwrap one, which you might have to help them do that. Stick it to themselves and then crab walk back. And then the first team to get all their band-aids and all their players back to start wins. So just closing it down by saying, guys, that was fun, and it's a good thing you don't have to bear walk and crab walk every time you need a Band-Aid. Today in large group, we're going to hear about a man who needed way more than a Band-Aid. So let's go learn more. So then you'll head down to large group. Um, I don't know why it says to the blue room. I think this was Julia's city ones, and she just kind of changed it for... Yeah, because it says K through 4. That's cool, though. It's the same. We do the same as what the city is. So you'll walk with the city, um, or you walk with the city. Walk with your kids down a large group room. There is a live storyteller this week, um, or a live host this week, but the kids are going to be watching a video for the story. So when you get back, um, you're going to have these Be Kind cards. Sorry, put these down. And um, what's going to happen is you're going to lead kids to play kind of a variation on old mates. You're going to have kids get into groups of four, but you're going to have the whole group play at the same time. What you're going to do is you're going to pick one kid in a group to be the dealer and give him the deck of cards. And um, you're going to show what face down means. Have them sort out the cards and pass them out to all the kids, but keep them hidden. And then um, the kids can look at their cards, but don't show anybody else. And for kids who already have a pair... You're going to help them to put the pairs face down in front of them. And then um, as kids put their pairs down, you're going to encourage them to brainstorm ways that they could show kindness for the people pictured on their pairs. And then the kid to the left of the dealer fans their cards and offers them face down to the player on their left. And the player is going to pick one of the cards. And if they pick a match that they have, they're going to put down the pair, say how they should show kindness. And if not, they just keep the card. So, um, you know, help kiddos with this, especially the kids that are going into kindergarten. This might be kind of hard. So then it just keeps going. Then that player fans their cards out, the next, and the person next to them takes one. And until, so you're going to keep doing that until all the kids have been played except the Samaritan cards. So the Samaritan does not have a pair. So all the cards look like this. You've got clerk, kid on crutches, grandparents, toddler, lunchroom worker, mail carrier, 
teacher, firefighter, police officer, coach, boy, librarian, dad, mom, friends, crossing guard, custodian, and then you have the Samaritan. So that should be the only card left. And um, the kid that's holding that card is going to win. So you're just going to close it down by saying, so guys, God wants us to treat others the way that we want to be treated. And in our Bible story today, how did the Samaritan treat the injured man the way that he would want to be treated? He stopped and he helped him and he took care of him and he made sure that he was well. So kindness is treating others like they're important to God. And with God's help, we can be kind to everyone. So this week, just remember to treat others the way that you want to be treated and be kind to everyone. So then for um, the memory verse activity, you're going to have your memory verse strips, um, which are just the memory verse broken down into five phrases attached to cups. So um, divide your group maybe just into like two teams and then um, have teams line up at one end and at the other end of your environment put the cups and then you're going to ask, so how did the Samaritan get the injured man to the inn that was on his donkey? So tell kids they're going to be donkeys on a mission and their task is to take turn moving like a donkey or crawling down the cups one person at a time. They'll place a cup on their own back and then return to their team without letting the cup fall. And you might need to help them as they do this. Um, help them put the cup upside down um, if it makes the cup more stable. And then when the team has all their cups, have them put their memory verse strips in order and then practice reading the verse together. And you'll just close it down by saying, so guys, Galatians 5 tells us that kindness is a fruit of the Spirit. And that means that kindness is one way that God works in us to show others who he is and what he's like. And through the story of the Good Samaritan, Jesus showed us that God wants us to be kind to everyone, not just people who are like us. So this week, um, maybe tell kids a way that you're going to be kind to someone. So maybe it's a coworker, a neighbor, and it's great. This is a great lesson leading into the fact that we are not having church July 7th. And we're having a For Your Neighbors Day. So tell your kids, you can be kind to your neighbors. Think of something that you can do for your neighbors. And just remember to be kind to everyone. So then just to close down in prayer... Um, you're going to invite each child to hold a be kind card and then say a way that they can be kind. And actually, maybe you can just say, what's something that you can do for your neighbors next week when we don't have church instead of doing this little thing? Say, next week is for your neighbor's day, so what are you going to do for your neighbors? And then just close it down in prayer. So that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so, so much for being small group leaders. Y'all are just amazing. The summer has been so smooth. Um, I just want you guys to know it's just incredible. Last summer, most Sundays, we had about 180 kids in Oak Bridge Kids. This summer, we're having about 250 every single week. And it has just been so smooth. You guys are just incredible leaders. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. So thank you for serving, and we'll see you on Sunday.